Hey, hey Cheech. Cheech. Tim at Mill Cover. How are you? Doing well, man. How that are you? Mill Cover Charge magazine? Is that <laughs> yeah, we give them away for free. All oh, right, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> Just try, we try to our best to support um, music. Oh, I well, like music. <laughs> that's always a good thing, huh? Yeah. Um, so you have a, you had a book that came out, uh, I believe, a, huh? a month ago. Um, how is that? Uh, how is that um, for you? The the process of I, writing the book and and how is the book doing? The book's doing very good. Uh, we haven't asked for their money back, you know, so that's always good. Yeah. And uh, and uh, it was a lot of fun writing them. And I've always been a writer, so it was nice to get into that on a on a sustained basis. I, I had fun finding the voice and the, what was the, uh, the the most appropriate voice for the particular thing. Mm. Um, you, in the book, you tell a lot of stories. Um, is there any specific story that um, that was your favorite to go down memory lane again? You know, it was, it was uh, the favorite section of the, of what I... Uh, everything surrounding my move from South Central, my family's was from South Central to San Fernando Valley. It was a very, very uh, uh, important moment in my life. And it really set up, you know, Set up everything after that, you know, my influences. Uh, <clears throat> is that when you did you start attending a Catholic school around that time? Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Uh, was your household strict? Was my household strict? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was I was born Catholic. My dad was a cop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I was I, I was seeing that. Um, I was born Catholic, and uh-huh. um, I was raised into a Catholic home, and. Um, I know how uh, rough a uh, a Catholic home yeah. could be. Um, when yeah. you started doing the the movies uh, and, and you started becoming mainstream, did you get any pushback from your parents? No, not at all. I, my my dad really liked it in China because uh, they were po- we were popular with juvenile delinquents. <laughs> that was his that was his area, you know. They would give him an entree to the community. You know, hey, you ever heard of Chichi Chow? Oh, yeah, well, he's my son. Claire, talk to me. <laughs> Have you seen this guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. Um, yeah. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, well, I, I noticed that um, you in Riverside. There's a uh, you just help um, you donated a lot of your art to the Chicano Art Center. Uh-huh. Well, no, they established the, the Chicano Art Center around my collection, and they gave me a museum to house it. Nice. Uh, so uh, how many pieces of art did you donate? I uh, well, we're in the process of negotiating and finding out exactly um, what that number is right now. You also donated um, some art to my hometown of Oxnard. Are you... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they got a Chicano collection uh, a set. Yeah, I love Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you how how did that come about? Well, I think I did a, a show that I, I I lived close to Oxnard. I lived the very far end of Malibu, and I used to go to Oxnard all the time. And I really love the town. I love the community. And I love that they have the the Carnegie Museum there that was really interested in showing Chicano art. So I wanted to support them as much as I could. And I used to visit the museum all the time. It's a real good museum. Um, I yeah. Like, um, they they really you know do their best to help all artists in in Oxnard Ventura Ventura County region, and yeah. that, that's something that really stands out to me. And it's, I'm we're really appreciative because we're an art town, you know. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> you got everybody there, man. Um, how did you get into art? Like, what made you travel down that road? You know, at a very, very early age, uh, I had a bunch of cousins. I think I was around 10, 11. A bunch of cousins were, we were like Catholic school academics, you know, we really excelled and we kind of pushed each other to learn more and try to outdo each other. So uh, my older cousin, Louis, assigned all of the younger cousins a topic to learn about and then to bring that information back to the group, and I was assigned art. And so, okay, so I went to the library and took out all the art books. I try to familiarize myself with that, you know. So that was kind of my education of, of you know, a classical art and modern art, up until modern art. In <clears throat> um, your art is really, really good. You uh, um, oh, like yeah. to the point 
I mean, no disrespect. I was surprised on how good it was. No, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know, that's that's that knowing, knowing what your subject is. You know, the thing the thing is, by the time I discovered Chicano art, I was I was pretty well educated in art history, and so when I when I saw the Chicano painters, I said these these painters are very good because I knew what good painting was because I'd seen it all my life. And so, you know, you could, some people are, have really good eyes, and, and some people have okay eyes, but they, but they uh, uh, improved them through the years of, of setting, you know, uh, of seeing art. You know, and and you, can, you can improve your eyes. It's like wearing glasses. You know, it's like, oh, that's what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> we, have, you know, better your eyes get. we have a really good um, Chicano artist out here. Um, his name is Wicho we- Lee. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah. You, you've heard of him? Yeah. Yeah, he's r- ridiculous. Like, What's his name again? Wicho Lee? Yeah, Wicho Lee. Yeah, Wicho Lee. He, he has this painting um, that he just donated to the city, and it's of a migrant worker's eyes. Uh, and you can see yeah. their little, you know, the, the bandana over their eyes, and everything's covered but their eyes. And you can see yeah. the reflection of the eyeballs. You see the fields. And uh-huh. it is, to me, that I can stay lost in that painting for years, you know. It's so beautiful. Does he have a website on how do you spell that? Um, Huicho, H-U-I-C-H-O. H-U-I-C-H-O. L-I? L-E. L-E. I, I, I will, um, I'll text, uh, or I'll email Yvette after this okay. interview. And yeah, I'll, I'll send you. This, this I'm always on the lookout for good artists. All right. Um, switching gears a little bit, how do you feel about the current state of our country? Uh, you know, I'm nervous. Nervous, so it's yeah. Nervous. We have a buffoon in charge that uh, <laughs> that is totally unqualified for the office, and you know, it's all it's all about him. You know, he's a it's a pathological liar and a, and a, and a, and a uh, Megalomaniac, so I don't know. I don't know how you feel. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely in the same boat. Um, yeah, yeah. And it, it's... I, I think at a certain point, it's going to draw our country closer together. Uh, oh, just hopefully sooner than later. Yeah, hopefully. We've got to figure out a way to get this guy out of the office and back to, you know, back to Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a good job at, at the moment of getting himself out of office, so... Yeah, yeah. I just think just let him go, and he'll 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 impeach himself. Um. <clears throat> so you you have a show coming up July twenty first uh, with Tommy. Um, uh-huh. How has your guys's stand up routine uh, evolved, or is you know, it, it evolves slowly? You know, but day by day, especially when we're out on the road a lot, it just changes almost of its own accord is that, you know, people would come to see us after they haven't seen us for like a year or something. Wow, your show really changed and we're not even aware of it because it just changes incrementally day by day. Are stoner jokes and, and is are those just timeless? You know, if they laugh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't laugh, they're not so timeless. <laughs> Have you had to do more research uh, to stay current, like with vaping and um, doing dabs? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's pretty much uh, any, by any means possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, how have you, uh, religious-wise, are you a religious man now? Do you still follow uh, the Catholic ways? Or? No, not really. I'm spiritual, but not religious. You know, I believe in the spirit, and but I don't. I don't follow any particular uh, uh, religion. You know, I mean, I, I don't have anything against anybody that does. You know, how do you practice um, your spirituality? Pardon? How do you practice your spirituality? I meditate a lot. I oh, do no. transcendental meditation, which I have since I was 19. I do Tai Chi. I do yoga. All those kind of spiritual, what I think is a spiritual activities that kind of help me in my day-to-day life. I, I, I've always done those. Awesome. All right. And I, I just have, uh, I think I have only, well, I have two more left. Um, okay. What is something you binge watch? 
on, let's say, Netflix? Uh, 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 Jane the Virgin. I love that show. Yeah? Yeah, uh, we watch it all the time. Oh. We record it so we can watch it again. <laughs> and my last piece, or my last question is, what is one piece of advice that you've learned throughout your life that you, if you only could leave one thing to the world, what would it be? Just work hard. Work hard, show up on time, know what you're supposed to do, and work hard. I mean, that's really it. You know, you can have inspiration about a lot of different things and, you know, this and that, but if you work hard, show up on time, and be dedicated to what you're doing, you're going to just be fine. Cheech, I really appreciate it. Um, is there anything in, in particular that you would like to uh, the article to mention? I uh, that uh, that uh, uh, we're so proud of Chicano Art and and come to the the Cheech Marin uh, Chicano uh, Center for Chicano Art Culture Industry in Riverside, California. It'll be an awesome opportunity. Thank you so much, and please be on the lookout I, for. Um, we told me I'm gonna I'll send it to you right off the phone. Great, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, also the magazine will be in Palm Springs, um, in every room of, of the Hard Rock in Palm Springs. All right, so cool. it'll be pretty Work big. For it. I'm in it. All right, thank you, buddy. Have a good You're one. You're welcome. All right, you too. Bye-bye now. Bye bye now.